Hi, Andre Huey, St. Kitts Nevis. Um, Coach, um, talk to us about the preparations and how your team has been preparing and how things have gone in the lead up to coming here in Florida. Uh, first of all, let me say good afternoon to everyone. And um, we are happy to be here. Our preparation has been going quite well. The players are very enthused about the task we have at hand. Um, today, we finished our last effort in um, getting our team ready for the match tomorrow. So we are in good shape, and we are rearing and ready to go. Coach, welcome. Patrick Horn, the Vincentian and Caribbean Life back in New York. What are your major concerns for St. Kitts as a debutant in this tournament? First time. Well, um, one of my um, major concerns would be the capacity um, in, inside the stadium, the amount of people that would be here. Our players are not really that exposed to that kind of environment. So what I think still they're going to hold up and they're going to perform to the best of their ability. And also, you, you're playing Saint, I mean, Carousel, which has some Professional players. Professional players and positive experience in the Gold Cup. What's your approach to them? Well, we're looking forward to match, of, match our skills and our tactics against top quality players. I think our players, they are quite aware of the situation and the, the task at hand. And um, this is a challenge for us, and this is an opportunity for us to test our metal against teams of this caliber. I think we'll do a good job. I'm very confident in the ability of my players, and I'm sure we'll give a good shine tomorrow. Thank you. Coach, how well do you know your opponents tomorrow um, that you will be facing as your first time your team is? I, I can understand how, um, how high your expectation, uh, your, your country as well is expecting for your team to uh, get qua the, that qualification spot. How well do you know open it and what to expect tomorrow on the, on the match? Well, to be honest, I don't know them that much because I hadn't got the opportunity to see them play. Saw some clippings, but clipping don't really show the whole aspect of the game. But based on um, previous engagement by other players who might have the opportunity to play and based on their feedback and based on my um, investigation and my research uh, I have learned that they have a number of players who play in different prom professional leagues around so with that kind of information we design our tactics and our um, playing style to suit that so we should be in a good um, position to match and compete to the best of our ability. Thank you very much, sir. Is there any other question, Rob? Uh, for Jelani, as captain, um, what's the mood like in the camp? I mean, this is a momentous occasion for you and, you and the rest of the team to have a chance to qualify for the Gold Cup. Um, good afternoon to everyone out in the press. Just want to say thank you for being here. Um, what's the mood like in the camp? Um, everybody's calm. Everybody's humble. We just keep our heads down, working towards the game on Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, we've been here 10, 11 days preparing for this game. You know, after our last legacy game that um, we will be facing some sort of powerhouse and just so happened that we we drew um Kyuso and Okyuso um sorry. And Okyuso um I studied them from since um we we drew them and I know what they're coming with. I know most of their players. I studied them day in, day out, so I know what to expect. But the mood in the camp is very well. And if you qualify for the group stage, 
uh, on your first try. I mean, what does it mean for you and coach? What does it mean for football in St. Kitts? Who you want me to answer? Well, I think it would be a big achievement, not just for only me, but for Twin Federation, St. Kitts and Nevis, and that would be history for us, you know, to um, qualify for a major tournament. So I think it would be massive. I think, well, not a thing, but plenty of people will be watching tomorrow, hope, hoping that we get past this first obstacle. But I think it will be a huge, huge, huge achievement for Twin Federation in St. Yeah, <laughs> it will be real exciting for our country. We had the opportunity to reach this far uh, to qualify before some 20 something years ago and now we are back so hopefully we're going to do it this time we, we have confidence that we're going to do it this time but it's going to be a party atmosphere if this should ever happen i don't think anybody will be working <laughs> i don't think everybody will be working just be party along the streets of st Kitts and nevis and um so yeah um it's going to be real exciting if we do qualify thank you very much sir we're now moving on to the, the journalists that are via Zoom. Gregory Jowan, please uh, ask your question, please. Well, I think we're having a little issue, little issue. So I think that for yeah, probably Gregory. Do you want to type it and so I can ask? Uh, the coach and the captain. Okay. Um, coach, the <coughs> obviously uh, the teams that you're going to be facing or potentially facing uh, if you do get past Curacao are paying attention to St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, how much do you think they know in terms of the, what they're anticipating. Um, a lot of people have been looking at the progress of the, the team over the years. As you pointed out, you were here some years ago and now you're back. So obviously to get to this stage, you must have been doing something right. So how much do you think they are monitoring and, and studying St. Kitts Nevis and, and, and anticipating what you guys are bringing tomorrow? I, 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 I do think that um, as professionals, in the way that they are, uh, I think that they will be uh, they should have been studying us quite a lot because um, we have done our part to get here and we have played against their, their sister islands or their neighboring islands, Aruba, and we played them in Kyoisa. So they also had the opportunity to see us play. Um, so we get a little more stronger, we get a little more togetherness within the camp. So I don't think that should be enough for them to use against us because <laughs> we have grown tremendously and so, so, so it's going to be a very good effort, a very good match so everyone should come on out and witness exciting football. Okay, now it, I think we've come to an end to this press conference. I appreciate you being here, Coach uh, Austin Huggins and Captain Julani Archibald. Thank you so much and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much for having us here.